Alright, so this is how it works with frame generation. This is amazing! In this day and age, everyone's using AI. So why not we labor AI to generate us more frames? That's literally what NVIDIA DLSS do. It generates frames between frames, doubling your FPS. So if you're getting 30 FPS, it will double it to 60 FPS. This is just a simple explanation. I don't want to bore you with nerd stuff, so take it as a grain of salt. Now, if you want to download this application, you can download it from Steam. Yeah, it costs like a few dollars. Right now, it is $9 or something. Seems too good to be true, right? Well, worry not, let's check it out on Minecraft with shaders and distant horizons. So before I show you this with distant horizon and shaders, I want you to have like general idea how this works. I'm gonna cap my FPS to 20 and this is like my settings that I'm using. This is how to playing on 20 FPS feels like. It's like really choppy and laggy. Alright. I think you got the idea. So now I'm gonna use this application and the mode is like 3 times so it will generate 60 FPS. Let's check it out. So for this to like work you need to be like on windowed mode. So just keep in mind that keep so just keep that in mind and just hit the hotkey and it will start. You will see like FPS that is generating on like top left corner. I am using these same settings and this is how it feels. It doesn't feel like 20 FPS at all. But there is some stutters and it feels like a little slow. But it doesn't feel like 20 FPS. It works completely fine. I body die die die. Sorry. Okay, everything's fixed. So, you might be thinking, this is so amazing. But there are some downsides I wanna discuss. First, you need to have like a monitor that is like more than 60 hertz to like literally see some difference in your FPS. Second, it will reduce your image quality and like distort area around your character. And third is that it will increase your input delay. So you will see like it is like little slower. But if you don't have any problem with that, you can pretty sure enjoy this application as it is and it doesn't only work with minecraft it works like with other games too now that's aside let's check it out this with shaders and distant horizon let's, let's see how much it improves our performance and this is how it works without distant horizons i mean it's still pretty smooth with like 40 50 fps i'm getting by the way if you want to make your minecraft look like this you can check out my this video here so this is pretty smooth. I don't know. This is this seems pretty smooth because I'm getting 40 FPS. Let's just cap it to like 30 FPS and see. All right, let's check it out how it works with frame generation. And I'm going to use my custom setting that I'm going to show you at the end of the video. All right, so this is how it seems now. This is my bit custom setting, so I will get more performance, obviously. I'm getting 60 FPS, like literal 60 FPS, and this feels so much smoother. Let's check it out with more render distance. 128. Let your LOD to load, and then we will turn on shaders and see how this works. By the way, I am using 2 times frame generation, so I think I won't get that input delay problem. So that's a good thing. I mean, there will be some input delay, but it will be less. Now let's just turn on shaders, and here it is. Let's see how it feels. I'm getting 60 FPS, and it's the same FPS that I'm getting. Wow. This is amazing. Can you believe it? Okay, let me show you this without frame generation, how it feels. Alright, so I turned off frame generation and look how laggy it is. It's so laggy. Alright, so this is how it works with frame generation. This is amazing. Okay, let's check out our input delay. Oh, that, that was trippy. Okay, there's still a little input delay. Oh my god. 
So what I recommend is get like 40 to 50 FPS on cap and then use frame generation. So here's the custom setting that I promised. But first, let me explain how every settings work. So you have like some idea. The first thing you will see is like game profiles. Here you can like make profiles, like custom profiles with like different settings and switch to them quickly whenever you want. And next we have scaling mode. You can set it to auto. I keep it to auto or you can set it to like custom and you can lower your scaling and increase your scaling as you want just keep it to auto if you don't know what you're doing next up we have scaling type you can set to like amd fsr and vdm is scaling even intel and if you're like want to watch anime with like 60 fps you can set it to anime 4k and then we have like their own lossless scaling type that ls1 well i don't see any difference between like amd fsr and ls1 nvidia so just keep that in mind if you like see any difference just use that one and then we have sharpness just if you increase it too much it like becomes really weird and if just keep it to like between one or two and then we have performance it's less sacrifices your quality for like more performance now moving to frame generation we have lossless frame generation 2.1 this is for like newer gpus and we have another version it's like lossless frame generation this is good with like older gpus but lossless frame generation 2.1 comes with like this mode where you can like triple x your frame so if you are um capping your frames on like 30 fps it will give you 90 fps so like ai generating two frames between like your two normal frames so like you have four frames is it four times no it three times and then we have performance same thing with like this performance it just decreases quality for like more performance next up we don't have to do anything here this is like vsync sdr support turn that allow tiering off turn on draw fps this will show how much fps you're getting and in capture you have dxgi this is the best you should use that and then in GPU and display, select your GPU or like keep it to auto. And that's it. Now, if you go to like settings tab, here you can set hotkey. For me, it's like default one, control alt s and that's it. Okay, so here's your long awaited custom settings that you're waiting. And I am using scaling to like custom and scaling fit factor to like 1.2 and turn this on i don't know what that is resize before scaling it is good i guess scaling type is amd fsr sharpness is on like one by the way i think this will like lower your quality because it's it's scaling to like some lower resolution and that's it like the frame generation is like simple keep the mode to like 2x keep performance on and all other settings is like same simple settings that i showed you before now let's check it out on minecraft subscribe join my patreon that's it bye bye